What is up guys, Simple Brown here today with another fantastic deck and today today I'm gonna to show you guys a Jolteon Zabdos deck that is well quite interesting and I think you know because today is well for you guys because for me it's like way a few uh, like a few days later uh, earlier uh, it's New Year's Eve so again happy New Year's Eve and celebrate responsibly. All right, so let's just jump right into a deck. So we got a Zabdos Jolteon, and this Zabdos does not need an introduction. One of the best Zabdoses that ever uh, was created. You know, Thunder Assault, almost, you know, since the day he came out, was a tier one, and now let's finish a year with that card as well. And also with this Jolteon over, excuse me, over here with Electromagnetic Wall that says, if, uh, as long as this Pokemon is your active, right, whenever your opponent plays energy from hand, uh, you put two damage counters on that Pokemon, which is quite good in the early game, not that good in the late game, but for the late game we do have a Zapdos as well, you know, and but also we do have a few other pieces to this puzzle. So let's take a look, 15 Pokemons, starting from the left, we've got one Ditto, because we will be evolving, we've got three EVs, two, three Jolteons actually, so we got two Jolteon GX and three baby Jolteons, we got one Dedene, one Tapu Koko of Prism to bring back the energy, two Zapdoses and one Zara Aura GX with one Jirachi. On top of that we do have four Custom Catchers, because I do prefer a little bit of Custom Catchers, one Electromagnetic Radar to search for the GXs, uh, four Electro Power, two Poké Dolls, we got four Pokegears 3.0, two Pokemon Communications, one, actually two Switches, I'm sorry, one Power Plant, one Thunder Mountain, two Cynthia's, two Cynthia and Caitlyn's, two Roses that are amazing combo with Lily's Pokedoll, playset of ya boy Volkner over here, with two escape boards and 12 energy so the deck is quite simple you know you want to attack super fast with zapdos or just slow down the pace with the jolteon and then swing with jolteon gx you also can attack with zara aura gx and you know it's quite simple you put that electro power and you just swing so let's go let's save the deck and let's have some fun with it so do you want to go first or do you want to go second with this deck actually Many many times you do want to go second. So if you feel you know if you feel comfortable that you will get that Zapdos You will go second just to attack uh, with the Zapdos turn one. I Prefer a little bit going first uh, just you know to play it a little bit safer for the Jolteon so you can have a turn two and you know we've start with uh, Eevee and then you're putting the card uh, as baby Jolteon as a front and you know you annoy your opponent a little bit if they are attaching the energy from hand and that is you know a nice example of the hand i'm not going to say no to this hand we got an eva i can attach energy to eva if i want to and that's exactly what i will do because i don't know what is you know going to be on the other side after my opponent's turn one so you know eva definitely you know we follow my tail and turn one cynthia right because, you know, those two jolts are really cool and I can keep that. But, you know, knowing also what we have here... Well, you know, that, that, that's kind of the thing. I can go... You know what? No, I'm going to take a different route. So I will take the energy and also what I will take is... Is, is, is... Electromagnetic Radar that I will play on one of the Jolteons and an escape board leaving the energy over or actually no on one of the energies and uh, one of the Jolteons so this will give me the search through the deck and I will grab myself the Dene and Zara Aura but I will not use the Dene uh, not right now just browsing through the deck checking what we got you know uh, custom catcher prize definitely but not all those like you know key things are prized we've got Seven, eight, yeah, so all oh, four energy is prized. That is really interesting. You know, having four energy prized. So, Aura, and I will just pass the turn because I do have a Jolteon, so I can slow down a little bit of the pace. I don't know what am I facing. You know, those are just two Jirachis, but also what I can do is just play Jolteon GX and, you know, play the Dene, discard my hand, draw new cards. All right, so I am facing uh, I am facing Reshazad so welder plays energy from your hand so card like baby Jolteon 
might actually be really really good if he's not going to play a Jolteon, a Jolteon, if he's not going to play a uh, Welder right away. So I'm kind of uh, hoping that he will not see a Welder turn one, you know, we might because there are two Jirachis. I mean, getting uh, going for a second Jirachi is always greedy. But he can't do that, right? This is AM ab and ability zard, so I have to be careful. I do honestly have to be careful, and you know, being careful is not my second nature. Let me tell you. Ooh, Blaze Flawn. I have not seen a Blaze Flawn uh, in a long time in this deck. Uh, hoping, you know, that his Dedenne is prized, and I think whatever he wanted is prized because he's not playing it right away. Mega Lupani. Okay, so I do think he mm, thinks he's playing against Picarom. That's why he went for it, and you know you can't blame him. There's a Fire Crystal. So are we going to see a Welder? There was no support yet. We might actually see a Welder, and it is. Um, we miss, you know, that 60 damage, right? Okay, 20, but he's going to play one from his hand. So that's 60 damage that we're going to miss. It happens sometimes, you know. You sometimes miss that, uh, miss that, and there's nothing you can do. So, because he played Mega Lupani, I kind of rather play Cynthia next turn, right? Because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to buff Mega Lupani's attack. A scoop up, alright, I haven't seen the scoop up strategy in a while. A skateboard now, okay, so he's gonna go for a second Jirachi, greedy play, definitely, right, you know, super greedy play. But I don't think you know, I will be able to punish him for that. I mean, I hope so, but I don't know if, if I will be able to punish him. You know, Acrobike, let's see what he's gonna draw. Discarded Pokemon Communication, so probably no Pokemon in his hand. That's an energy, so I'm assuming he played the energy. Uh, he had energy in his hand, so what I'm gonna do is Jolteon, of course. As I said earlier, Lily's Pokedoll. I have a free treat cost over here. And Cynthia. So I will try to, you know, play a little bit different, like... I'll try to play around many things. And I know Power Plan might actually not be the best play that I will have, but... At least he's not going to be able to draw the cards. Pokegear 3.0. Synth and Caitlyn, that's not bad. And pass the turn. Let's go. So we pass the turn. Two Lily's Pokédolls on the board already. Zapdos is in my deck, so I will be hunting for Zapdos. Hopefully with St. Van Caitlin, right? Because I don't want to play those GXs. I'm a little bit scared of playing them. So St. Van Cait Caitlin is going to discard Volkner this time. All right, he has a switch, so he is going to attack with Mega Lupani. But of course, you know, first, uh, Jirachis. I'm kind of hoping that he doesn't know what Jolteon does. And that he's not gonna, you know... He's gonna play Welder before uh, he's gonna figure it out. I mean, you know, we, we have to believe in something, right? And that is, well, something that I do believe right now. Okay, so he drew a switch. And he's gonna go for a knockout. Easy knockout for him. I mean, Welder, come on, you want to do it, you know, you want to put that damage. Or at least energy from hand, come on. You want to. I mean, come on. One energy, at least as you know, so the Jolton will do something. <laughs> and the story is this. Oh, that's not gonna be a sweet kiss. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Or he might go for Nine Tails and put, you know, Zoraora as an active Pokemon. Right? That is also a possibility that I think, well, it's not in the realm of possibilities anymore. It's just gonna happen. Or maybe he wanted to do it. Yeah, okay, so I think he wanted to do it, but he just, you know, didn't have the energy for it. That's only a single prize attacker. It's We're fine and we're good. St. Van Caitlin on Volkner. I'm gonna grab Cynthia. Come on, draw. Yes. Alright, so I drew Zabdos, actually. I'm not taking anything. Oh, I can. Oh, that's Rosa. You know what? 
Because I will have that Rosa. I'm gonna pass the turn. Because I will find myself second Zapdos, thanks to Rosa. Or an Eevee that I'll turn into Jolteon, you know. Um, new Stadium, you know, I will have some pieces to work with. And this Lee Pokédol, you know, again, I know he has this Ninetales, so he might actually threat me. But it's just me counting he doesn't have the energy in his hand. Since he didn't, you know, use it last turn to knock out Zora, or I, I'm gonna assume there is no energy. Or there was energy, but he is not even, you know, like... He's gonna attack the bench. So he's going for Zara Aura. He's going to snipe Zara Aura. I mean, he knows what he's doing. Like, clearly he knows. And he's, yeah. Zara Aura is gonna get knocked out. But, again, if three prize cards left, Rosa is still in play. Come on. We can still do it. We can still pull this off. And I woke up. Okay, you know, it, it doesn't matter that much. But let's play Rosa. Zapdos. Radar. And... Energy. So there we go. That's Zapdos, that's Energy. That's Lily's Poké Doll. It's one, two, and Thunderous Assault. That's 140 damage. So his Mega Lupony right now is in, in range of my attacks. And he already used his GX. And everything I have is around single price attackers. And I also do have a custom catcher that I can use. And he has to start thinking about something else. He has to start, you know, think, oh, what now I can do? Because he might have that catcher. And he knows I do have a uh, custom catcher. So he definitely is going to go for uh, the Reshazad, which is, you know, not a bad play. But he just passed the turn like that. Alright, a little bit unexpected to, to, to see that, but Cynthia. Okay. So I do have a Rosa, and I can also just retreat. Like, do a hard retreat right now. Just to get myself uh, that Thunder's Assault knockout. Cynthia. I need to take a look. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, I have to grab Tapu Koko. Okay. Because he's searching for something, and for something that I don't know. So, I'm gonna play Rosa, Tapu Koko, Prism. A skateboard and energy. Right? Okay, that's Reshazad. So I think he's going to count on Outrage this time. Yeah, I do honestly think that he's going to try to, you know, push Outrage on May. Oh, man. Now, he's in, in, in troubles, you know, five energy here... Wilders, they might be back in a deck, but he's not drawing them. He has problems, you know, and with setup like that, whatever you're gonna do, you know, um, you're taking one prize card on lay, and I can still attack. That's why Zabdos is that good. That's why Zabdos is the card. It struggles, that's true, you know, against those big attackers, but you have to give him credit when the credit is done. And of course, you know, Jolton GX, also an amazing card. All right, so. There was no knockout, but we've got a Pokemon communication. So I'm gonna grab myself an Eevee. Right? So here goes Eevee. 
energy on eBay. Poker gear. So this is just me showing him like, ah, you know, I have nothing. Because I don't want to play that, uh, Cynthia, to be quite honest with you. I'd rather keep that Rosa in case he's gonna knock me out, but... You know, it's something for something, right, sometimes, and... With 25 cards, should I risk it? That's a great question, and... Well, fingers crossed, let's go for it. Okay, that's the first custom catcher. <laughs> um... Right, a skateboard and a skateboard. So that's a lot easier for me to retreat. And Thunder's Assault. So maybe I should have just kept that. Uh, that Rosa. I mean, I risked it and let's see. Alright, so we got a super scoop up on the Mega Lupani. That didn't work. That didn't work. So no more Mega, uh, or Mega Super Scoop Ups on Mega Lupani, on Reshazad, on Jirachi. He's just passing the turn. And we do have our own Jirachi right now. So that's going to be a switch. Right. Still I wish. I've got myself a Rosa. And Energy right here on a Zapdos and passing the turn. Because I know once I can hit a GX on my Jolteon GX, I will be good. Ooh, and Tapu Koko. Like, who would have thought? Right, We're going to see a Tapu Koko right now. Down of the Ancients. That's one and two. So we're gonna bring back some energy to play. So I'm not giving him, you know, another mon to, to, to knock out. Still I wish. And well, I can play another Lily's Poké Doll. But I think Electro Power is fine here. It's fine enough. And just pass the turn. Like his deck bricked so hard, you have n no idea. I've never seen you know Rashes are breaking that hard. But also, you know, we, we are kind of breaking, because I am dependent a little bit on what he is playing, right? On his knockouts. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just... Alright, that's a custom catcher. I'm getting closer to knocking out this Mega Lupani. But I, you know, I can't yet retreat my Jirachi, because so, I whiffed, you know, my escape boards on Zabdos, so that's a well, right, so we, we will see some attacks. And that's good, you know, I want to see that, because next turn I know I'm knocking out Mega Lupani, so that's an outrage, down to, because I can't play GX yet, right, so that's what I'm going to do, Zabdos. There we go, down goes Zabdos, and now I drew energy, of course. Custom Catcher, Retreating Zabdos, right? Rosa right now, and... I know I'll have a custom catcher prized. I'm at five prize cards. So, for me... There's not a lot of things that I can do, so I'm just gonna bring the energy as well. To the party, to the mechs. Right, Jolteon GX. And Thunder's Assault for the knockout. No! Oh, I whiffed it. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it like a dumb person. No, 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 no. I thought I have a knockout. I thought I have a knockout. And I still do, right? I still do have a knockout next turn. No, he's got me. Yeah, he's, he's got Jolteon. Yeah, I messed it up. Oh, man. He's got me. He, he won. It's nine tails for Jolteon, and that's it. Nine tails for Jolteon. 
It was close. I mean, it was close. It was a good game. You know, this shows that Zabdos is still a perfect attacker. It's a great one. <sighs> or maybe he's missing one energy. Wait, what? Okay, maybe no, maybe he was missing that, yeah, because he had one energy in his hand, so maybe he's trying to dig for more. That's a heat run that he discarded. Switch. Still a wish, alright. For what are you digging, mate? Giant have, yeah, that's a GG now. Like, it's a giant have, two energies, retreat, ability from nine tails, and that's a knockout. That's that. That is it. There's nothing I can do. Or maybe he doesn't have enough energy left in the deck. Because, you know, I'm surprised it's one, two, three, four. That's nine energy here. And. I mean, we'll see. I think he has those two energies. I do honestly think. Yeah, there they are. Nine tails on a Jolteon. And that's a game. And a retreat. Maybe no Absol, right? Maybe Absol was something that uh, I should have added to the deck. Made a misplay, you know, should have played a little bit differently. Should have attacked with the Jolteon, used the GX attack. Or just kept everything you know, around Zapdosis and later go for Jolteon GX. So that was a mistake, right? Going so fast on the Jolteon GX. Should have kept it single prize attackers and me putting, you know, GX was a mistake and I just gave him the W. There's nothing you know I can do. He played a switch so he can retreat still. Come on man. He has 230 damage attack over here. Like this is you know just what? Did he just pass the turn? Okay, I, um... Alright. I have to use Swift Run GX. There's no doubt about that. I just have to use it. I can't do anything else. I, I had to use it. I don't know why he passed. He played... He clearly played a Switch. So he still could have retreated and just won the game. And right now I have literally no idea what he wants to do. Alright, Fire Crystal. I mean, he can play Nine Temptations again. But if he's going to you know, attack with uh, Flash Strike, he can't use Flash Strike next turn. So he's okay. Because if he's going to do Flash Strike, I'm attacking. All right, that's a Flash Strike for 230. He can't use it next turn. I'm going for a knock on Mega Lupani. But he, yeah, like. Mm -hmm. What just happened? I mean, I'm honestly left confused like crazy. So, Electro Bullet, I'm not even you know, going to be shy. Electro Bullet, I don't want to you know, charge it up with uh, those Electro Powers because... Okay, Custom Catcher is somewhere here. So, I have to be you know super unlucky to not draw a Custom Catcher. And one of those two prize cards is Custom Catcher. And it is a Custom Catcher. He can't use the GX because he used it. He can't use a Flare Strike. He can only attack for 70. But what he can do is also uh, play Victini for 6, that's 120 damage, so that Victini is not enough. I mean, if he's going to retreat Reshazad, play Welder, then, you know, he's fine and that's a GG. Yep. One custom catcher away. One custom. If that would be an IRL game, I would show my opponent that I had those catchers, and he was just super, super lucky. 
because you know he has nine energy that is more than enough that is more than enough to knock me out and to win the game here or not no it's 180 yeah but he still has stuff and a Zapdos just to be sure that that's a great play you know, for the Zapdos but I don't know what happened in between those like turns and what was that super weird so guys uh, as you can see you know the deck still holds up even though we've lost I uh, think you know we showcased the deck quite well the deck still holds up and it's still an amazing deck and hopefully it is gonna be more played as and the sword and shield comes out so guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to our amazing YouTube channel goodbye and good night Raven loves ya take care bye